Hello friends, now in the previous video I have created this uh, products create, create multi-step form with uh, Laravel and Inertia.js so we have validation if I click here we don't go to the next step if we have errors, so if I fill the fields and we not have errors we go to the next step, okay? and also here we have also validation I'm going to do this with uh, Laravel and live wire now so if you want or we can add if you want to see this we we i have the video in the this channel and i'm going to leave the link in the comment so for that i have prepared i have installed the live wire in this project and also if i open the vs code so here is i have created the new Lab wire component and also in the layout I have created these layouts and app layouts when here I'm, I have added the live wire styles and live wire scripts and if I open also the web roads I have changed the cat slash the, uh, and I have added the product create class which is the live wire component and right now the product create has uh, only this one the welcome so if the welcome we have here okay so if you want how we can install the live wire it's very easy you just go here and compose require live wire and add them live wire styles and live wire scripts and that's it and also create the component with PHP artisan make live wire and the name of the component. Okay. Also, I have prepared the form for our project. So, I'm going to copy and go to the uh, product create blade component and I'm going to add it here. If I save and go to the browser, I refresh. And yeah, we have this form here. Now we need to make changes. So first we need to display these two fields and click to the next step and display the another two. So the same thing we have with the uh, Inertia.js. Uh, first I'm going to open also the product create class. And in here now, uh, first I'm going to create the fields and also the form step so public uh, dollar sign form step is going to be by default one now again public dollar sign name also public dollar sign mm, body public dollar sign username public dollar sign address okay with that uh, if I go to the product create we have a form and here we have the name and the uh, body so these two i'm going to cut and say if the form step the same thing we have done with view if the form step is equal to one display that and also here we can say also and if and create another one if or say else if here else if the same thing the form step is equal to two and we need the clause that if statement so and and if if i save and come here and refresh yeah we display only the name and the body but we need 
a button to go to the next if we are in the first step and create and previous if we are in the second step. So for that, cut this button and say here the same thing if the first, not the first, the form step is one, display that else if the form step is two, we need to add another one here. So this is going to be the previous button and the next. Okay, save, come here and refresh. Now we have next, but we don't uh, do anything with that. So you see here, we I have added the wire model lazy for the fields. So when we click next, I want to go to the next page and the same thing we have here. So we have a function next step and save a form step value plus plus. So the same thing here, public function and next step. And say dollar sign this a form step plus plus. Also another one for the public function a previous step and this is going to be dollar sign this form step minus minus. Okay save this come here and say wire click and call the next step and here say wire click call the previous step previous step if i save and come here refresh click next we are in the next step, previous, next, previous. Okay. Uh, that's okay, but uh, if I ever, I want to validate now. If I click next, we need to validate the fields. So if you go to the live wire and we have the validation here. So here is how we can validate. We can create a protected rules and call this validation. Also, we have the uh, real-time validation. So create the rules and updated the property name. So if we update the name, for example, and go to the second one, if we this has an error, it's going to display that error. So uh, first, I'm going to copy this. And because we don't have error, errors here, so in the form, I'm going to display after the div here, and this is for the name, is okay. This one is for the body, so change the error to be body. Uh, next one is going for the username. Say here user name, and we have for the address. Okay, now when we create that, so it's up to you what you want. I'm going to do the real, uh, the first one. So when we create, I'm going to call this validate and validate the two fields we want. So in the next step, in the, this step we have the name and the body. So I'm going to say, uh, so I'll assign this, validate, and it's going to validate the name, which is going to be required, and also the body. 
which is going to be required. Okay, so go to the browser and refresh. Um, if I click next, uh, we have the errors here, but it's not looking very nice. So we have error class and okay, select all the class error and change so that to be a text uh, red 400 and text to be small. Save, come here and refresh. If I click, yeah, now it's more okay. And if I click here, for example, and click next, we have only the body. And if I click here, click next, we go to the previous. Okay. Uh, next one is to go and create the product. So create a public function store product. And here we say, uh, first we need to validate, so that I assign this validate and add the name and the body and also the username and the address. Or if you want, you can uh, validate only the username and address it's because we have validated here. And after that, uh, um, I'm going to do this because I want to say here dollar sign validated to be with this and say product. Uh, we need to import now the product, create and add the validated here. And after we create, we need to say dollar sign this, reset, the reset of the things and also uh, this reset validation. Okay, it's save and go and try. Refresh. First, we're going to see for validation. The, yeah. And uh, say uh, dive wire. Okay, copy, paste here, click next, we go next, live wire, live wire, click create. And if I come here and refresh, nothing happened. And we don't have also the ear, ah oh, yeah, sorry friends, that is because we, when we create, we don't click that. So wire, click. And what was the name of the method? Store product. Sorry, friends, for that. Save, come here, try again. Add the live wire or store product. Anyway, click create and the field. We go for, to the first step. We clean the form. And if I come here and refresh, we have a store product here. And that's it is. So if I type something and something, click next and type create, we have the username and address field is required and type something here and click create. We go up to the first step and we create the product. That's it friends. This is how we can, uh, you can add the validation and create this product. Hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.